In this video, I will teach you how to calculate the equation of a straight line. Now remember the general form of a straight line is y equals mx plus c, where m, as you should be familiar by now, is the slope, and c, and c is the y-intercept. Now what do I mean by that? The y-intercept is the point at which your line cuts the y-axis. Now, if I if I simply give you the slope and y intercept of any line, you should be very easily able to calculate its equation. As you already know that the equation of a straight line is written in the form y equals mx plus c. Now you already know the slope which is 3 and you already know the y intercept which is minus 1. So in place of c you're going to plug in minus 1 and right there you have the equation. How, however, if I give you two points through which the line is passing, then the equation will be calculated. Then it's a two-step process. Then the equation will be calculated using y minus y1 equals m x minus x1. This is basically called the point slope method. Why? Because m is the slope and x1, y1 is basically any point that's lying on this particular line. Now, let's, let's take, let's first of all calculate the slope. Now, the slope, as you already know, is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So, I will take 7 to be y2. So, that will give me 7 minus minus 5 upon... 3 minus minus 1. Now 7 minus minus 5 will give me 12. 12 upon 3 minus minus 1 will give me positive 4. So the slope is 3. Now now let's figure out the equation. Now for this point that I'm going to be using is A. So y minus 7 will become y1 is equal to 3 x minus 3. 3 will become x1. I could have used po point B as well y and the equation would have remained the same. And like I said, x1, y1 is basically any point on the line. The equation will stay the same. So let's rearrange this. So this will become y minus 7 equals 3 x minus 9. Let's add 7 on both sides, so that will give me y equals 3x minus, minus 9 plus 7 will give you minus 2. So the equation is y equals 3x minus 2, that is it.